everyone and I have this tutorial for you today and it is using this. This amazing double sided palette. It is incredible and I love it. It just arrived at my house on Friday which was yesterday and I had to use it straight away. So this is the BH Cosmetics Shane XO palette and I nearly dropped it to send. Did you see that? If I didn't, I caught it because I'm a good catch. That was so lame. Wasn't that lame? We'll move on from that. So in this tutorial would be a natural looking eye and a pretty pink lip. It is perfect for every single day and yeah, so excited. So let's get right into the video. So to start off with, I will be using the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I will be using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. To blend all of that in, I'm going to be using my Expo Beauty Flat Face Brush. Concealing my redness, I will be using my favourite concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to apply that like a triangle. And again, blending that in with this brush. foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. And it literally just tips all over my table. <laughs> and a whole piece of it just went into my teeth. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is doing my brows, and I'm going to be trying out the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I don't even know how you say that word, I think it is. But yes, this is my first time using it, so we'll see how it goes. And the brush I will be using is Shannon XO Beauty Brush, pretty cool. Moving on, I'm going to be bronzing up my face with the Maybelline Dream Sun Powder. For my blush today, I'm going for something a little bit more natural, so I'm going to be using my NATO Sunkissed Blush and Bronzer, and I'm just going to be focusing on the top three colours this year, just the pinky colours, right there. my highlighting later on. 
now it is time for the exciting part. So it is time for the BH Cosmetics Shen XO palette. I'm so excited about this palette. Uh, it is just insanely gorgeous. I've already put a dirty finger mark on there. <laughs> Let's do this. So today I'm going for something much more natural looking. As you can probably tell by the title. <laughs> So I'm going to first be putting this colour right here. I'm going to be putting that all over my lips. I'm taking myself in the eye. Oh. Oh. Don't do that. For the crease colour, I will be going in with this one right here. These shadows are really great, they're actually very blendable. I will also just be patting that down onto the lid slightly as well just to blend it all in. The next colour I will be using is this one right here. I'm just going to be gently pushing that into the crease. Just slightly. This is actually a super nice combination. I think it's perfect for every single day basis. I think the colours are fabulous. I will be taking this colour here. I'm going to be putting that along my brow bone thing there to give it some highlight. Oh wow, this colour is great. So beautiful. Going back in with this colour, I'm just going to brighten up my inner corner of my eye. I think this is a stunning, stunning, stunning eyeshadow. Perfect to highlight your inner eye area. And as you can see, it is very, very buildable, which is excellent. Taking this colour here, I'm going to be placing it on my bottom lash line. Oh, and on my face. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Just focus it on the mainly the outer part just here. This part of your eye will be mainly where I'm focusing it on. Just not really going past the halfway. So I'm starting from the outside and I'm working it just into halfway. And that's it. Borderline. I'm going in with Remmel and this is the one of their eye pencil thingies in the colour Nude. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the highlighting on my face and for that I will be using Colourpop in Spoon. The final thing I will be doing for the eye makeup is just some old lashes and mascara. Whatever it is, here it is. And that's all I'll be doing. I'm not going to do any eyeliner, I just want to keep it nice and simple. I'm seriously in love with this eyeshadow. It is so pretty. Look how much glue is on that. I put way too much glue on. Fine. Well, 
while I'm waiting for my eyelash glue to dry, I'm going to apply some of the lipstick. But so far I can't choose which colour. And I just don't know which one. Honestly, this purple one right here is calling my name at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that right now while I'm still waiting for the glue to dry. Because I put like 10 kilos of glue on that eyelash. This is so cool! That is amazing, I love it. So to finish off, I'm just going to apply some mascara, which is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I love this stuff. And I think that is it. That is the completed look. I hope you like it. I'm super excited about this palette and I know I'm going to be using it all the time. So it's going to be awesome. Oh.